Hello everybody and welcome back to our discussion on exponential function. For this video, I am going to talk about the number E. The letter E represents the irrational number 1 plus 1 over n raised to n as n increases without bound. So, if you take a look at this expression and substitute the value of n, with a very, very large number, so that's n increasing, the value of this whole expression would be approximately equal to 2.718282. So this is a constant E. Okay, This constant is named after Leonard Euler from 1707 to 1783. So this constant is called the Euler's constant. This one is used in many different applications. Okay? One of its applications is the continuous growth. Okay, So the continuous growth formula is A sub t is equal to AE raised to RT. Uh, if you take a look at this one, E is already introduced as the base the rate is already an exponent, so with the independent variable t. Still the same, a is the initial value, r is the continuous growth rate per unit time, and t is the elapsed time. So if r is greater than zero, that means r is positive, then we have a continuous growth. Otherwise, if r is negative, we have a continuous decay. Let us take a look at the following examples. So a person invested $1,000 in an account earning a nominal 10% per year compounded continuously. How much was in the account at the end of one year? Okay, so this is a, a, a continuously compounding interest. So we are going to use the formula A is equal to A E raised to RT. So the amount is equal to the initial amount is 1000 and then E raised to the rate of interest that's 0 0.10 R multiplied by the time T so we are looking for one year so T is equal to 1 so times 1 so this is equal to let's uh, bring out our calculators here Okay, so that's our calculator right there. So we have 1000 E. Uh, e raised to 1, 0 0.10. 0 0.10 times 1 is 0 0.10. So that is equal to 1105.17. Okay, so that's 1105.17 dollars so that's the value of the money 1000 it became 1105 after one year for a 10 percent compounded continuous investment okay so let us take another example here this is an exponential decay, or continuous decay in particular. So we have Radon 222 decays at a continuous rate of 17.3% per day. How much will 100 mg of Radon 222 decay to in 3 days? Okay, so we have a continuous rate here of 17.3% per day. Our initial amount is 100 milligram and our time is three days okay so using our formula a is equal to a e raised to rt you see the 17.3 percent is the rate of decay 100 is our initial amount and three days is our time t okay so this is basically equal to 100 milligrams e is to 0 0.173 times 3 but remember 
if we are talking about decay the rate is negative okay, so that's negative 0 0.173 all right so therefore this is equal to 100 e raised to negative 0 0.173 times 3 so that's 59.5 milligrams okay so that's how we solve continuous growth and continuous decay thank you for watching